here we are in Jerusalem, Israel, at the plaza of the Western Wall. What you see behind me is the retaining wall for the Temple Mount. On top of that wall was the mountain. That's a very holy place. It's where it's believed that uh, Abraham offered Isaac as a sacrifice. It's the place where King Solomon built the temple long ago. It's a place where Herod built the temple in the days of Jesus, and a place where Jesus would have come to pray and uh, to worship. Today, uh, we have this western wall. It's a retaining wall. And for our Jewish friends, it's the holiest site uh, in Israel. It's the place where God's presence is always felt to dwell. They allow other people like us Christians to come and pray here as well. Is it a holy site for us? Yes, it's a holy site in the sense that it marks a place that is very important and very important in the life and ministry of the Hebrew people as well as of Jesus. This is a temple where he came to pray himself. It's a holy site also for us because we know that wherever we go, God is. The Holy Spirit is with us wherever we may be. And so indeed, when we go before this, this place here, this special place to pray, God is with us. But when you pray at home around the table, the dinner table with your family, that's a holy place too. When you play, pray with family or with spouse or with children or with friends, when you go to your local church and pray at the altar, that too is a holy place. And God hears us and we hear God and we have communion with the Lord. That is indeed a holy place.